It's the halfway point in this season's Champions League. Knockout football from now on. It's win or bust. So we reach the business end of the competition. No second chances, no margin for error. Borussia Dortmund line up in a 4-5-1. Yeah, essentially this system lends itself to a more cautious approach, but that's not to say they can't turn caution into steady ambition. is pivotal the elusive quality of Marco Royce because of his inward running fullbacks don't want to follow him all the way and centre-backs don't want to step out to try and confront him so he gets himself into great finishing positions and he's now he's gone for it there it is and what a great way to start the game to spark the game I mean the captain has basically triggered a contest that should be even livelier than we anticipated get your seat belts on this could be rather exciting He was never going to miss from there, so much to aim at. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Well, that has certainly made things interesting. Klein. Now it's Roberto Firmino. Mario Goetze. And it's Royce. Long and high towards the flank. Now it's Yarmolenko. He's left his man. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. And he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. Now it's Roberto Firmino, looking to break out here. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Henderson battles to win it back. Oh, he's broken through. Threw himself at it, but he's got it cleanly. Ruder. Royce proving dependable as ever. Another terrific day at the office for him. Well, having that sort of player in your side is reassuring because the rest of the team knows he can make his influence count at any stage. It's simply part of his package. When he really wants to, this fella scores. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Good ball. Roberto Firmino just is it in wonderful from Roberto Firmino finishing doesn't come simpler than that bang in front of goal I just think it's clever positioning from clever movement and when all of that is synchronized with the right pass that's what happens And 
that has added a whole new complexion to the game. I oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked, and uh, I still haven't moved. Lucas Piszczek. Now it's Yarmolenko. He's got away. Tries a through ball. Lofren hurtles into the tackle. Rudig with the ball through. Going through. Borussia Dortmund have made it clear what they're trying to do for me, Peter. What are they trying to do? Well, I think they're making the pitch as big as possible to work both flanks. Mohamed Salah! He's done very well to get to that. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. brings the first half to a close. Genuinely interesting game here, very, very watchable. Two goals, one each. Any strong opinions on the first half? Yeah, I think they'll be happy with that scoreline. I just hope the second half is as good as the first. It's been pulsating stuff. It's been a decent 45 minutes. Competitive, certainly, and a goal each. So we're into the second 45. Mane takes a look up, steered out wide, looks to set one up. Has gone out. Aimed long and direct. Out wide to the right. Now it's Yarmolenko. He's got away. Yeah, he's fouled him there. And the referee has shown him a yellow card. Looks like he's picked up a bit of a knock from that challenge. Looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. Borussia Dortmund have themselves a corner, I think. Yes, they do. It's come loose. Nuri Shaheen plays a clever pass. Gets up to head it! Oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. Beautifully worked to take the defence out of the picture, but there'll be no rush to see the replay on this. It so nearly came off for him. Royce certainly tends to cast his influence, and he's in imposing mood again. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace, so they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Vinaldum. Shot a goal! It's there! They've done it! It was coming! They have their reward! Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Liverpool look as though they're about to make a change. Wijnaldum, 
amongst the goals, he is being taken off now. Well, has he done enough since his goal? Is the feeling that he's lost his appetite for another? It's difficult to be sure exactly what the thinking is, but his race has certainly run now. Liverpool get themselves into the lead. Yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. He's left his man. Can he find a finish now? Can he'll have a dip! Tremendous from Mane! And this is getting better and better. He was really quick to react to the initial save, and he has his reward. Well, as they say, Peter, if you don't speculate, you won't accumulate. And we've just witnessed a player who was rewarded for his willingness to take a risk, as cunning as it comes. Liverpool on two up and into a position of real strength. Mario Goetze. Chan. Jordan Henderson. Now he's wondering who wants it. Lucas Piszczek. The final five minutes. Royce passes it through, he has it out wide now, going through. Matic very firm in standing his ground there, it is a tough full contact contest. And will be a throw in, Liverpool their final change. Well, his stamina was called into question then, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with his heart and, and the effort he put in. He was very willing, though, not quite able. Added time is up, and there goes the whistle. Liverpool take charge of the tie, a win on the road, a first-leg lead to carry home with them. Any reflections on what you've seen, Jim? Look, you often need resolve and resilience when under more pressure away from home, but I thought their efforts deserved that.